Hello and welcome to Food Slide. This is your chef Sumit Pant. Today I'm going to talk to you about cruise liners. How to get a job in cruise liners? How does the cruise ship works? How does the kitchen? How does the kitchen operate in a cruise liners? What are the various steps that you go through to get a job in cruise liners? How much experience do you need to get a job in cruise liners? Various things I, I would be telling you about the cruise liners. Now, guys, I ha I was just checking on YouTube and internet. There are a lot of people who have made videos on how to get a job on cruise liners. And when I check their profile, they have hardly worked in a cruise liners. This saddens me. People who do not know anything about cruise liners making a video and posting it and giving all the wrong guidance to the people. Well, in this video, I would be sharing you, sharing with you my personal experience of working as a chef in a cruise liners. What difficulties I have faced. What are the positive points of working in a cruise liners? What are the negative points of working in a cruise liners? What is the myth behind the cruise liners? Okay. Now guys, when I worked in a cruise liner and I came back to India and I was looking for a job, I was told by various chefs in the hotels that in cruise liners, you don't do quality work. Now it, it is very sad, you know, when you hear something like this. I worked in ITC, I worked in Hyatt, I worked in Edison and trust me guys, the quality of ingredients, the quality of meat, which I have seen in cruise liners, they are far, far, far superior than those which we use in the hotel industry in India. I'm sorry to say this, but that is the truth. And working in a cruise, I have learned trade. I have learned things which I could never imagine, you know, doing the same thing in a hotel in India. So whoever says that if you work in a cruise diners, you don't have a proper experience is all absurd. I will completely not agree to it. Now in this video, I'm going to tell to you, I'm going to share with you. First of all, what is a cruise liners? How are cruise liners divided into? So there, are basically, there are, there are two or three. You can say two kinds of cruise liner. One is the economic economic class or business class. The other one is luxury class. Now, when I say luxury class, it has a very high end budget ticket. When if you have to, if you want to travel in the cruise liners, you have to buy a ticket which would be very expensive, starting from ten thousand dollars for a week. So you can imagine if somebody is spending ten thousand dollars in a week, what what kind of food would he expect? Right? What kind of services would he expect to uh, receive? Obviously, that would not be something which is basic. Right? That would be very high-end services. In economic class or luxury class, uh, economic class or business class, I will say it is it is a lower division of a cruise liner, which is equally. Thus, I would not say that that is a bad bad class of cruise liners, but it is. I'll say it is it is cheap as compared to the luxury class. The tickets such as cheap, the services, the quality of ingredient is little uh, less as compared to the luxury class now the first basic the major difference in cruise and hotels is in cruise liners we call it galley the kitchen we don't call it kitchen we call it galley now the galley is divided is not like how we have in indian hotels we have one chinese kitchen we have one italian kitchen we have one french kitchen we have one coffee shop it is not like this in in cruise liners we have a huge kitchen cruise liners we do service for something around 3000 people for for one service you know so we are serving 3000 people at one time so we have one massive huge kitchen in which we have sections right now the, the, there would be a soup section there would be a an, um, start uh, anthemic section there would be a, a roast section there would be a fish section there would be a vegetable section there would be a desert section there would be a starter section all sections are divided into different 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 parts right so when a waiter comes he would he would uh, go to different section and pick up his food and go go and serve it to the guest all right so when you selected for a why i'm saying it difficult why i'm saying that you should have at least two years of experience uh, to go and work uh, for a cruise liners like if 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 a first if a fresh chef comes to me and he tells me that i want to work in a cruise liners i will not advise him to work instead of we go and start working in a cruise liners i would first advise him to you know go to the hotel gain a, gain experience of two years or three years and then go to cruise liners because what happens once you're selected for a cruise liners they will put you in one of these sections they will put you in a soup section they will put you in a vegetable section they will put you in a grill section any section and then you should have thorough knowledge of how to do how to handle that section if you do not know trust me guys cruise liners is like higher and fire if you don't know very soon you will be home you will be, you will be sent back home so to avoid that, I would ask you to first, you know, solidify your basics to improvise your working skills, to improvise your knowledge and then to move on to cruise liners. Now the selection process, guys, I have seen a lot of 
I want to bring this to your notice, to your knowledge. I have seen a lot of Facebook groups in which I have seen people posting various cruise ship, cruise ships vacancies. Now a cruise ship will never take, you know, a Facebook page to to fill their vacancies. This is very cheap. They will never some do something like this. They will never communicate to you on WhatsApp. So what I have noticed is I have seen Facebook people posting that they can get you a job in cruise liners. They will put some pictures of. Uh, cruise liners and they will promise you a job in the cruise liners they will ask you to drop your number in the comment section they will take a number from there they will communicate you through whatsapp group they will uh, give you their account details they will ask you to transfer some money first as soon as you transfer the money end of the story they will take your money and they will never revert to your things never revert to your calls never revert to you they will block you a cruise liner will never do that they have their proper channel to hire you on board to take you on board they have their proper offices where they conduct your interviews, where they take your interviews, like for example, PNO, they have a very big office in Bombay where they interview you and they hire you for the uh, job. They will never take, you know, <coughs> support from a Facebook page to fill up their vacancies. No. So that is that is very fa fake. Please be very careful with this. Don't waste your money. Don't don't get traps in these things. Okay, how do how what is the selection uh, procedure? So you go to the you go to any of these offices uh, which they have all the cruise ships they have their offices if you hit on internet they will tell you their home base in India where they are liquid located you go drop in your CV if they find your CV suitable they will call you for an interview once you go for the interview now there is one advantage for the kitchen guys if you go for the interviews they will not take a trade test there, there is no trade test done because they don't have they just have a HR office where they can't conduct a trade test so they need to see how much experience you have if you find them if they find you suitable they hire you and they take you on board once you're on board then you they, they put you in any other section now negative thing I'm talking I'm going to talk about the negative things now once they hire you they put you in, in in one of these departments in one of these section they will put you in a soup section they will put you in a row section they will put you in a fish section now the entire length of your duration you're gonna stay there you're gonna work in that one section you may get bored of working in one section but that is how it is but trust me guys in by the end of your contract if you have worked nine months in one section you know in and out you know everything about the section and you can handle the section very well you become champion of the section the next time you go back on the ship they put you in some other department they put you in some other section then you learn that section so that is how it works now the salary salary is very good i would say it is incomparable of what you get in hotel nowadays even in my time also i started with a salary of 3000 rupees uh, 3000 dollars you can imagine way back in uh, 2006 I was getting three thousand dollars which was pretty good amount by that time but even if you now go you would be given even more salary now uh, once your interview is clear they will send you for medicals and they will send you for the visa interview the visa interview the visa that is provided for you is c1d visa which I think lasts for five years which is valid for five years once you are done with the visa once you're done with the medical you're good to go then they, you, they will send you on board okay there are few rules that you have to remember once you're on board and if you are if you are you know if you fight with anybody any of the co-worker they will straight away send you home they will not accept any act of violence in the ship if you are involved in any kind of fight or violence they will send you home they will not listen to you at all they will just send you home if you are caught if if you res if somebody complains about you or if you are caught in any kind of eve teasing they will straight away send you home no nothing doing they will not even listen to you they will next port they will send you home if you are caught in any kind of theft they will send you home so they are very strict guys they are very strict and they are also and the now these are these are something that you have to take care of now the Plus point is you are paid a very handsome salary. Second thing, you get to see the world. Trust me guys, I have seen the entire world and I am proud of it. I have worked in a cruise liners and I am proud of it. I have worked in Crystal Cruise and I have worked with PNO Princess and I am super proud of you know being a shippy. And I have seen the entire world and I have because I had some skills in my knife so I, I survived there. If you don't have skills, they will sit away fire you. So this is how you actually work in a cruise liner this is how the cruise liners work please don't go please don't follow people on facebook please don't pay them any amount the the cruise liners which 
they have offices in india they charge you nothing they don't charge you anything even the tickets are paid the visa is paid the medical is paid everything is paid they don't charge you anything now the now once you go for a vacation or once you come back for a vacation depends which kind of cruise liners you work in uh, the, the the contract runs for say from 6 months to 9 months depending on various cruise liners now in some of the cruise liners the the, the vacations are paid around 20% of your vacations are paid and in some cruise liners the vacations are not paid the length of the, of the of the contract i have told you it varies from 9 months to 6 months few companies they run the contract for 6 months few companies they run the contract for 9 months and then 2 months followed by the 2 months of vacation after that you can come back and join the ship so this is how it works anything that i missed out please ask your questions in the comment section i would be happy to answer each one of you thanks for watching